Stats Canada reported what they called exceptionally low influenza activity across the country last fall and winter. It made sense, doctors say, considering all the measures that were in place to limit the spread of COVID. Because of how well people were doing with their physical distancing, with their hand hygiene, and probably because most people were getting their flu shot, we actually didn't see a huge amount of flu in the community. Pharmacist Phil Hauser says people were flocking to get the flu shot last year, and he hopes that's the case again this season. We saw a number of people that we had never seen before come through our doors. But around this time last year, COVID cases were rising and the province was getting ready to implement stricter stay-at-home measures. Meanwhile, this year, the province is loosening pandemic restrictions. The transmission of things like cold and flu and COVID will be higher because of that. Family doctor Henry Sue says patients are asking whether they should get the flu shot if they are vaccinated against COVID. COVID-19. He says definitely. COVID-19 and the flu are two very different viruses and so the vaccine for COVID will not protect you against that of the flu. On average about 37,000 Ontarians went to get tested for COVID-19 daily over the last three days. That's the highest number since May indicating that more people are feeling sick. It could of course be a cold or the flu but Ontario's top doctor Kieran Moore says unless you get tested for COVID there's no way to rule it out. I would just caution everyone if you get the typical symptoms of flu or COVID um, that you should stay home, you should uh, get tested and if we need to increase the number of assessment centers we will. Hauser is hoping the government allows pharmacists to administer COVID booster shots and the flu shot at once this fall and winter. So concurrently at the same time it uh, presents a really great opportunity for us to kind of make sure that we get very high numbers. He says the flu shot usually becomes available in mid to late October. Kelly Batello, CHCH News.